media composer, TV and film music. I'm obsessed with the piano pad, that sustained jug of gravy that sits under a piano note after the piano sustain has died out. I think the kind of pad sitting under pianos is has been around probably Brian Eno, Roxy Music since the, the kind of 1980s. My mission throughout my career as a media composer is to seek out those wonderful synthetic or stringy sounds that sit under pianos. About three years ago, I was schooled by a genius. That genius is Olafur Arnold about what makes the most successful pads that sit under an organic piano. It starts with obviously the analog sense modulated through tape delays and plate reverbs. It was when he actually expertly used these delays and reverbs to sustain the piano signal itself. If there was a way of manipulating a piano signal into infinity, surely that would be better than a piano pad created by a synth. This coincides with last week's release of Hauschka. I'm not trying to crowbar a, a sales device in here. I am gonna prove a point that I will get to, but the thing that was fascinating about the Hauschka library is he worked out very unconventional ways of sustaining pianos, namely ping pong balls and stuff that was uh, continuing to resonate the strings past their natural decay time. So I thought, well, would it be interesting to experiment with those sounds coupled with a live piano and take the opportunity created by Volker, who is Hauschka, to investigate how I could fuck my own piano sound up without fucking up my own piano. So I thought I'd have a bit of fun with my new Keysense piano bar, which converts an acoustic piano into a MIDI controller. Now, ideally, I would use this in the studio because of this fitting here. This doesn't fit on my upright piano yet. I'm gonna give you a bit more background information on the Keysense piano bar soon, uh, but Oscar needs to take him for a walk, so he's not gonna let me indulge today. In fact, I'm actually gonna take a really special journey just for this vlog tomorrow tomorrow to go and make a film about this. So it goes into the Keysense box. We're spitting out MIDI here into this laptop, which is running the new Hauschka library. And I've got a selection of different presets that I'm using to write with to get some inspiration. And it is so utterly inspiring. The best pads to have underneath a piano are made from pianos themselves. You'll hear for yourselves in a minute. lid down combined with Hauschka's piano samples, ping pongs bouncing up and down, and all of the extraordinary things he's done. But I think in order to recreate and be true to the ethos of that, that 1980s achievement, the piano pad, we surely should look at reverbs, a, a vintage digital reverb, the new love of my life.
before we listen to this somewhat underwhelming performance, uh, let's have a look at where we're at with Piano Book at the moment. There's been some amazing additions to the Piano Book catalogue. sell Hauschka. I do naturally give it my full endorsement and wouldn't allow anything to be released in Spitfire that didn't have that. But it's more to get back to this original idea of what Piano Book is. And it's not just about sampling pianos, it's what we do with those samples. These are free for all of us to use, not only in a performance sense, not only in a compositional sense, but also as a conduit for creating more sounds. I would love to hear what you can do with these piano samples to create other worlds, other pads, piano pads to sit under pianos. So, anyway, here goes. An acoustic piano triggering some sampled pianos, triggering fuckloads of reverb, courtesy of the love of my life, Otto. As always for watching, pianobook.co.uk is where you go to download your free pianos and hopefully where you go to submit your newly bought pianos. Maybe we can create a piano pads section of the site. These will be the perfect accompaniment to the piano book pianos. If you haven't rung that bell yet, please do if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video. And one of those always thankful not for me but to everyone who is submitting these amazing works of sampling mastery to the piano book site thanks as always for watching see you next time